Hey Maple Leaf fans, welcome to the Blue Line. I'm Mark Farah, also known as Toronto Maple Leaf Guy. Key signing in Toronto over the last couple of days, one we definitely need to talk about. Let's do this. At the trade deadline, Toronto Maple Leafs made a key decision to pick up from the Seattle Kraken, their captain, and longtime Calgary Flame, Mark Giordano. Giordano comes in, plays a very steady role, almost at half a point a game player, uh, goes from a minus 21 on Seattle to, I believe, a plus 12 in Toronto. And not only that, but brings key leadership, something that John Tavares could really use. Johnny T was a captain in, in New York, but it's different being a captain in a Canadian city when hockey is religion. So here's Giordano, not only a leader on it with his team, but a leader in the community coming in, making $6.75 million over the last six years and deciding to re-sign with the Maple Leafs for $800,000 a year for the next two years. 38 years old, some might think is really old. Personally, I find when it comes to defensemen, it takes them a while to mature, and when you're playing a sound game like he is, the expectations are realistic. The team actually rumored to have gone to him with a $1 million offer, and Giordano took that offer and said, I'll take 800,000, you keep the $200,000 to put back towards the team. That's going to be key, and I'll tell you why I think that's going to be key, and not just for the $200,000. This team is on the brink, and a lot of people don't realize it. They look at it as another first year round, another first exit year in and year out. This team isn't going to go anywhere. They've had no success. You know, they've broken records for regular season. They've, had, they've broken record after record, most points, most wins, and they seem to be getting better every year, and they're growing as a team. So adding the right players is key and huge for us. Many people go on about Jason Spezza. He's loyal to the, to the team and his leadership. It's been fantastic, but you need more of that. And what this signing has done for Toronto is it really adds another top four player to your blue line, which is much needed. A guy with a calm presence who can step up when needed, throw a perfect body check, but not overcommit, make a nice first pass, be there as a power play option, be there as a penalty killing option. Just about everything that you could ask for, this guy is ready to bring. But what I really like about this deal more than anything is the message he's sending to other players. Signing early and getting this deal out of the way not only solidifies his next two years, not only tells his family he's coming home to play, yes, it tells him that he wants to win and he sees an opportunity here, but he's sending a message to other potential free agents saying, hey, listen, I'm willing to do it. Let's see what you're willing to do so we can win a championship. People can be critical of all the four signings, the big four signings, or five, if you want to add Morgan Riley to that mix. But at the end of the day, it's a product of good drafting. They've done good drafting and they've wanted to protect those players and put them in an environment where they can succeed. And every year we've seen a little bit of a different mix. This year, had it not been for Johnny Tavares' goal being called back, which to this day, many of us will agree that goal should have counted, we'd be going in overtime with the two-time Stanley Cup champions. The same team that just swept the Florida Panthers, the best team in our conference, in four games. So the message is, Gio is in town, he's here, and he's letting everybody know he believes that this team can win. I think it's going to be very interesting to see what we get with other free agents wanting to come to Toronto to be around the culture that Keefe and Dubas and Shanahan have built it since day one. And I think that a lot of people are being real critical, and we'll get into that more down the road. Great on you, Gio. Thanks for sticking with the Maple Leafs. And what some fans don't see, we know you do. Mark Farah, The Blue Line.